America has always been a melting pot for millions of migrants from all over the world. Ukrainians also were among them. Rostislav Hamek, who has been living in the United States since mid-60s, says that the local Ukrainian community was created by those Ukrainians who came here as far back as in the 30s. These people who came here with the second wave of immigration, they came from very poor small villages and towns. So our wave, and I belong to the third wave, we strongly underestimated them. But we shouldn't have. These people did great things here. They established the foundation for the Ukrainian community. They opened churches, Ukrainian schools. Khomyak's parents fled from the post-war Europe to Canada. When he grew up, he moved to the United States. My parents had some friends in Canada, so we went there. I grew up in Canada. I went to college in Canada. Then I got a job in New York and moved to the United States. But before I married an American who was also born in Ukraine, we got married and moved to New York. For many Ukrainians, America became a second home, which literally saved their lives. A Philadelphia resident, Tatyana Pavlichka, will always remember a communist regime under Joseph Stalin in the 1930s. Stalin's policy of genocide by hunger cost Ukraine more than 7 million lives. Everybody who wants to know the truth can go to my native village. There were some cases of cannibalism back then. Adults were eating their kids or anybody they could catch on the streets. You couldn't see any single cat or dog on the street. Everything edible was eaten. So it was really hard to survive back then. Vladislav Grinevich, who is doing his research in political studies and globalization, says that the modern migration of Ukrainians is no more caused by political factors. Nowadays, we have a totally different situation. Political regime in Ukraine is okay. Different people have different financial conditions, but everybody has a chance to work and earn money. But we have the opportunities we want to use. We can travel and see the world. So there is a lot of young people who take their chances and go to a foreign country to change their life. Most of young Ukrainians come to the United States to study, get an experience or earn some money. I have a friend here in the United States. She works as a babysitter. She takes care of kids. And she collects money to go back to Ukraine and start working on her PhD thesis. There are some cases when people came here to study and decide to stay here for good. I know a lot of Ukrainians who got a degree here and stayed. Kristina Kushnir came to the United States on Fulbright scholarship. She says that America gave her an excellent education and lots of academic opportunities. Still, Kristina has no intention to stay here. Our life makes us, young people, move from one country into another one. This is an impact of globalization. People like me, who are going to work in the field of international economic relations, do not really choose the place to live. They would move to a country which has a job for them. The meaning of migration is totally different now. Nowadays, migrants are not people without the motherland anymore. They are people without borders. Alicia Leskun, reporting for the Voice of America.